hey, this is Raul, please act right. Now here's a video of an older woman saying that most older men date younger women because they want to control them. Now before I get started, I'd like to give a special thanks to Tim Bright, Randall Chandler, PA, and Nicole's dad for your generous contribution to my channel on Cash App. Thank you for your continued support. Please know that you are greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to contribute, I'll put the links in the description box below. A lot of grown men date young girls to avoid that grown woman pressure. See, every man want to believe that he's an alpha man until it's time to do what alpha men do, like provide, protect, produce. So when that grown woman put pressure on that wannabe alpha man, who's usually a weak man, he runs to a weaker woman. The woman that he can control her mind, the woman that self-esteem is low, the woman he can manipulate, use, and abuse. Yes, that woman. See, ladies, you could be too much for a man. You could be too independent. You could be too accomplished. You could be too established. You could be too confident that you have to send that man back to the basic women that they're comfortable with. And when you finally let that man go, you will realize that he had absolutely nothing to offer from day one, only lies and disappointments, which means that you had everything he wanted. He had nothing. Ladies, be smart, date smart, choose wisely, and remember, I told you. You notice that everything she said is negative against the older man, but nothing is negative about the older woman for the reason that it didn't work out between them? A lot of grown men date young girls to avoid that grown woman pressure. So what exactly is grown woman pressure? If you express yourself to him the way you express yourself in this video, it's not the pressure that he's avoiding. It's the overly aggressiveness in your voice he's avoiding. Also known as being bossy. See, every man want to believe that he's an alpha man until it's time to do what alpha men do, like provide, protect, produce. So when that grown woman put pressure on that wannabe alpha man, who's usually a weak man, he runs to a weaker woman. First of all, it's alpha male, not alpha man. Secondly, if he's not providing as an alpha male, why are you pressuring him? Just let him go. See, let's read between the lines here. The only way you would be pressuring a man to provide in their household is if you're living in a household with him. Was he providing in the household that he was living in by himself before you started seeing him? If he wasn't, then why did you move in with him? So basically, she picked a deadbeat and now she's trying to get him to be an alpha male. Shouldn't you have made sure he was a protector, a provider, a producer from the very beginning up until the day you decided to move in the same place with him? I mean, think about it. Why would she be pressuring a man to produce in a household that she does not live in? The woman that he can control her mind, the woman that self-esteem is low, the woman he can manipulate, use, and abuse. Yes, that woman. Is she saying that because an older man got with a younger woman, it only happens because she's easily manipulated? Oh, it couldn't be because they just had a connection. See, ladies, you could be too much for a man. You could be too independent. You could be too accomplished. You could be too established. You could be too confident that you have to send that man back to the basic women that they're comfortable with. She's absolutely right here. Most men are going to go back to what they're most comfortable with, a traditional, loving, and cooperative woman. Notice she named all the things that a man is not interested in when it comes down to our attraction to women. She said, too independent. Not independent, too independent. Too accomplished, too established, and too confident. Men who have their stuff together know that the majority of women who fit that category are going to be difficult to get along with. These women are the least desired by men because they come with a lot of mouth, bad attitude, and bossy ways. The same vibe we're getting from this woman who made this video. And when you finally let that man go, you will realize that he had absolutely nothing to offer from day one, only lies and disappointments. She picked a deadbeat and now she wants to blame the deadbeat for being a deadbeat. So basically, she ignored the red flags of a deadbeat, but of course, it's the deadbeat's fault. Okay. Which means that you had everything he wanted, he had nothing. Of course she had everything he wanted. That's what deadbeats look for in a woman. Ladies, be smart, date smart, choose wisely, and remember, I told you. You basically told women how to get rid of a deadbeat, but you didn't say anything as far as teaching them the signs to look for in avoiding a deadbeat. And where the hell are you finding older men who are deadbeats anyway? So basically, she's saying that most older men date younger women because they can control her. So what about the cougars out there? You know, older women who go after younger guys. Is she saying the same thing about most of those cougar women? I wonder what she said about Stella. There was a movie made in 1998 called How Stella Got a Groove Back. For those of you all who are not familiar with the movie, this was a woman named Stella. 
who went to Jamaica with her friend Delilah for some rest and relaxation. While having breakfast one morning, she met a young man, Winston. Stella was 40 years old. 40. A divorced woman whose ex-husband was in her age group. Now, it wasn't her intention to be with a younger man, but it still happened, which could happen with some older men dating younger women. Well, in the movie, Winston is 20 years old. When I'll be 21 on my next birthday, so that makes me 20. By the way, this movie is based on a true story written by the author, Terry McMullen, who married a younger man, a man 20 years younger than her. Now, I wonder if the chick who made this video said that Terry McMullen got with a younger man because he's somebody she can control. Of course not. By the way, the Jamaican Tourist Bureau said that after the movie How Stella Got a Groove Back came out, Jamaica got flooded with a bunch of older black women. And do you know who they were going there looking for? Young Jamaican men. I bet those Jamaican men to this day are still reminiscing about all the booty they got back then. After that movie, those Jamaican guys only had to say one line to get laid. Welcome to Jamaica, ladies. And those panties were probably dropping with a quickness. Ooh, oh, fact. <laughs> After it simmered down, I bet those Jamaican guys were just sitting waiting for Stella got a groove back too. Yeah, man, make a Stella part two. Me sitting here waiting. Anyway, back to the story. So, after the fling with Winston, Stella goes back to her home state. A few days later, she gets a phone call from Winston in Jamaica. She goes back to Jamaica and sees him again. This time, taking her son and her niece along with her to meet Winston. Well, fast forward and Winston comes to the United States to live with her and her son. At the family cookout, Winston meets Stella's ex-husband and listen to what he tells Winston about Stella's personality. She can be as stubborn as all hell. <laughs> what? An older woman who's stubborn? Get out of here. She thinks she knows everything. She's always right. I hate to admit it, but she usually is. Now, the part about her almost always being right, I don't have a problem with it. But me and most men have a problem with stubborn women who cannot admit when she's wrong. We know that there are some stubborn women out there who will argue a man to his grave just for the sake of not wanting to admit that she's wrong. And that's a huge problem with some of these stubborn older women, especially when you're a man who can admit when he's wrong. But she needs a man to stand up for himself. She needs a man that can stand up to her. You know, like an alpha male is described to be. A man who will stand his ground. Did that work for you? Hell no. <laughs> so even when he stands his ground, like an alpha male, which is what these women claim they want, she still won't allow him to be the man that he was made to be. So, are most older men dating younger women so they can control them? Or are they dating them because they may be easier to get along with? Just listen to this woman in the video. Is this the way she talks to a man when something needs to be done? If so, I don't know any men who are providers that's gonna listen to this every time she wants something done. So here's yet another woman who turns on a camera and teaches women to go against men, especially older men dating younger women but she doesn't say a word about how to avoid the deadbeat men in the first place. So for the women who are listening to her, what do you think they're gonna be thinking when they see an older guy dating a younger woman? I'll tell you, he must be dating her because he can control her. She won't have it within herself to think maybe, just maybe, they're together because they just happen to have a connection. Just like Stella and Winston and how Stella got a groove back. This is one of those women who are helping single women stay single. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.